Howdy everyone on YouTube there. It's uh, been a little while since I uh, put a video up, but uh, it's kind of the end of my hunting season, a bit of off time, and uh, now I'm actually getting ready for next year. Um, I think we'll all agree, most of us, or some of us at least, started bow hunting because it's more of a challenge than hunting with a rifle. Uh, we all like hunting, but um, I personally really do like a bit of challenge. So this year, uh, watching a few other guys on YouTube, uh, one guy in particular, Tim Wells, I think he's awesome, and uh, he does some awesome challenge hunting, I think. Uh, Blowguns, obviously a bow, he doesn't use any sights or anything, just an instinctive shooter, and spear hunting. And I thought, well, how cool would it be to try and do that? So I went and bought myself, not one, but two, Cold Steel Sambu Spears. Now, um, I did a bit of research before I, I um, picked the one that I wanted. This is actually the uh, Sambu Light, um, and it's, it's not light, that's for sure. Slightly smaller head, or blade I should say, than uh, what you get on the full size one, but man, it's a beast. That is gonna go through pretty much anything. My son's being a pain in the window there. Anyway, um, set that one down. So it's a big ass blade, I'd say about an inch and 3 16th, maybe an inch and a quarter, probably about an inch and a quarter wide. And um, they come out of the box pretty damn sharp uh, and definitely sharp enough to, to go uh, blasting through a pretty big animal, I'd say. Wildebeest, Eland, no problem at all. Warthogs, parlor, that's gonna be easy peasy. One of the things that I saw on YouTube about these, um, uh, about these spears was that uh, when people were practicing, the handles were snapping, the wood would snap. And I thought about that and yeah, I, I, I think there's probably something they could do a little bit better. They might be able to make this out of a, a neoprene, a hard plastic that might be a little more durable and might take a little bend. Uh, better than wood, which is what what this is. But uh, I I kind of got to thinking that most of the fault with these handles breaking was probably the way you throw it. Uh, if this hits something and it's got a bit of torque to it, a bit of twist, uh, and the tail flings out to the side, it's going to snap. Or even if it was a hard plastic, maybe even bend that plastic. So what I did was. I went down to my local woodworking store and, and got them to make me a bunch of these. Just gave them the handle and said copy that and they made me, uh, I got eight of them. Not very expensive. I will admit they're not exactly the same. Um, if I hold these two spears together, you'll see that uh, the black one, which is the cold steel, fits almost, well, it fits perfectly obviously, but the, uh, the lighter color uh, is a little bit fatter and it's made the whole spear a little bit longer. I, I can certainly take some sandpaper to it, get it down to fit better than it is, but um, I don't think that's gonna make much difference at all. I don't know, I'm certainly no professional spear chucker. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take these up onto my balcony upstairs. And let me just show you what I have outside here. I've got an old uh, Glendale buck that I don't really shoot anymore because it's, well, made in America and it's just weak. And uh, target on the floor there for a bit of practice. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get up there, throw the spears down and uh, see if it works. Most importantly, try and get accurate enough to where I'm confident that I can take these out hunting and sit in a tree or in a tree stand maybe, um, and uh, try and get some animals. I'll definitely take a bow with me when I'm up there so that things aren't working. I can always uh, end the day with a bit of fun shooting the bow, but um, I think it's gonna be awesome. Anyway, um, keep, uh, keep posted and I'll get some videos out there with how the practice for this thing goes. Righty, so uh, what I'm gonna do, head upstairs, uh, I've only got two spears, so it's going to be pretty slow going. 
two shots at a time. I think I'll do the first one down in the uh, target on the floor. And if that works out nicely, try another one on this uh, old boy and see how that goes. See you out there. Well, there we go. The uh, camera upstairs died, but um, not as easy as I thought. Well, I didn't think it would be easy, but harder than I expected. Uh, gonna take a lot of practice, but we'll get there. Here we go. So uh, only done like six practice shots, and uh, I've noticed that I'm hitting about uh, 12 inches to the left of where I'm aiming, and pretty consistently. Uh, the distance seems okay. I thought that would be the hard part. So aimed a little bit further to the right, and uh, that there on the on the paper was was one of them. Um, you can see by the angle of the spear there's definitely a bit of um, how can I say torque I guess like when you're shooting a bow so a little bit of torque in there anyway I thought I'd have a go at the old Glendale buck well definitely a kill shot but not where I was aiming I was uh, aiming in the vitals over here somewhere as I said I, I keep hitting about 10-12 uh, inches left of where I'm going so a bit of practice and um, we'll get better Well, here we go. Uh, so I figured out, trying to, trying to see what makes it uh, accurate, or what makes me, let me start again. So I figured out that uh, what makes me a little more accurate is uh, if instead of holding the spear on the side, I kind of get over my head a bit more, up nice and high. When I throw it, it seems to hit the target or the ground if I miss and stay a little straighter, which means to me that spear is flying straighter through the air so uh, two shots here the first one was uh, spot on where I was aiming um, that would would definitely would definitely work and the second one well I tried a little too hard and I actually missed but uh, as I say the spear landed in the ground nice and straight so there we go we're getting somewhere progress
Well, I gotta say I'm pretty surprised, pleasantly surprised. Uh, eight, maybe ten, no, I think eight practice shots, and I'm managing to uh, to get right into the vitals there. One of them just slipped over the side. Yeah, but uh, we miss with anything that we shoot. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna keep practicing, and this is feeling pretty good. Well, there we go. Uh, I am very surprised. I thought that this was going to be a lot harder to to zero in, and uh, by no means perfect on every shot. But you know, those last few, there is no way that uh, you know that this animal is running very far at all, especially if you get that blade right through the spine on the top. Uh, anyway, um, definitely going to keep practicing and. Uh, don't tell the wife, but I think I might order a few more spears. Uh, no handles broken yet, and I did not notice any difference at all between the, the homemade one and the, uh, the original one. Uh, what else I, I did want to say uh, is a couple of people online, YouTube, whatever, said, Oh, you got to throw this spear right in the balance point. So I know that the sheath on here is going to make a little bit of a difference with the balance. But I definitely felt more in control if I held a little bit towards the back. Um, and someone else said, you know, hold the spear with a good grip uh, of your fist. That doesn't seem to work for me at all. I hold it pretty light, maybe with three, three fingers sort of thing. Uh, and it works pretty well. Uh, definitely when I'm aiming, if I, if I hold it over my head and come straight down over the top, that seemed to work a lot better. Then, then checking out the side because then it, the, the spear definitely had some sideways movement to it. But as I said, no professional, but we're trying.